You ready to take a bath? Yeah, you need a bath. Pip smells like literal shit, and uh, it's like he just looks for the stinkiest thing in the, in the backyard and just rolls around in it. So even though he absolutely hates it, it's time to give him a bath. Where are you? You have a bed? Hey B, it's time for a bath, you stinky little mutt. All clean. All right, so I'm on a mission to find a handball court. Um, you know, in my late teens, early 20s, if you were looking for me, I was at the handball court. Where I grew up, there was at least four or five handball courts in the area. I was never very good at sports. Uh, I was terrible at football and baseball and all those things, but somehow I just got good at handball and I spent hours, hours and hours playing handball. And literally, I would get out of school at 3 o'clock and I'd be there till the park closed. But when my wife and I moved and bought a house, the town that we moved to literally had no handball courts in that area. so. I actually found one, and it's a, it's a few towns over, so we're heading over there. Hopefully there's going to be some people there and try to get a game going. Turn right. It's been a long time since I've played handball, but I figure it's kind of like riding a bike. You know, once you get back into it, uh, it shouldn't be too hard, and I feel like I'm pretty fit, so who knows? We'll see what happens. Hidden Park and the handball court is just up that way. <sighs> Alright, so there's nobody here at the moment, but hopefully somebody will come up soon. It's fucking hot out. But this is an interesting handball court. Right. It only has one wall, so you got two sides, but I've never seen just one wall. You usually have at least two walls. Got some ballers going. So anyways, handball turned out to be a bust. Uh, does anyone even play handball anymore? Am I, am I the only one that's interested? But <clears throat> at least I know where the court is now to come back and but right across from that court is a really cool lake. Thought it would be a cool spot to just kind of sit down and reflect a little bit. I just wanted to talk about YouTube for a little bit. I just hit 200 subscribers and it's been, it's been a real cool experience. It really feels like a community. There's so many cool people that I've met and, you know, and watched their channels develop. And, and it's just really cool to see this this community of people that are just trying to better themselves and improve themselves and push themselves to the limit. You know, in, in my personal life, I don't have a lot of people that are really into health and fitness as I am. You know, I have my clients and then I have my training partner, Ben. But other than that, I don't really have a lot of people that are really fitness oriented uh, like I am. So it's cool to be kind of part of a community of of people that want to push themselves, you know, to their limits.
So anyways, I just want to say thank you to anyone who has subscribed to the channel and continues to come along for the ride and, and for those of you who I've subscribed to as well. Uh, it's really cool to be part of this, to see you guys improving and, and I, I just want to say I really do watch everyone's video that I'm subscribed to. I try to take time out of my day and just watch any new videos that were posted and and leave some feedback because I really believe that whatever you put into something is what you get out of it so if you want your channel to grow and if you want to be part of this community you have to support the community as well and and be as active as possible in the community so anyways I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day by the lake thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time